Dear Miss Money, thank you for teaching us about how to save money. Thank you also for singing for us. Thank you for coming to our school. My favorite part was when you were dancing. Thank you very much for teaching us about saving, sharing, and spending. Your pal, Michael. Blue Hills Bank had a real desire to invest in financial literacy. I thought the idea of writing a musical and bringing it into schools for free and offering this kind of performance as a platform to educate students seemed to me like a great idea. All right, guys, whenever I say something that's a need, I want you guys to say needs, OK? Whenever I say something that's a want, you guys are going to say wants. Let's practice. Needs. Needs. Wants. Wants. The songs were written so that they would be catchy. It's a jingle. There's a lesson. All right, so we're going to make a list of stuff people spend money on, and I want you to say whether it's a need or a want. You guys it's fun. You remember it. A really warm jacket when it's wet and cold. You want to tap into all of the modalities of learning with music, with the spoken word, with chants, with rhythms, which I think is why the children were so engaged. Needs versus wants. I never in my wildest imagination thought that we could get a lot of little kids rapping about needs versus wants or saving, sharing, spending their money. The amount of engagement that Julie and her group gets out of the classrooms and out of the kids sitting in auditoriums is really phenomenal. Finances are not a comfortable topic. So inviting children into a conversation and giving them information that they can go home and talk to their parents about it opens up an opportunity for discussion, which is so important. Today's lesson is about money. Four, five, six. Children are never too young to learn, especially with money. You want to really start instilling in children the whole notion that you can learn how to save. You can understand money on a kid level. What is the name of the money you earn if you actually put your money into the bank and leave it there? Interest. Yeah! Life is about choices, and young adults or young children don't always see the choices that parents make. They just see a piece of plastic that gets used. So starting at a young age, just giving them an awareness, understanding the full equation, I think is really important. When we come into a school, kids don't know what we're doing. What's this show about? After the show, they are doing our dances, they are singing our songs, they are eagerly awaiting their activity guide. They are thinking of ways to start saving, to start sharing. The parents do not have to fundraise to bring this program into their school. It is something that Blue Hills Bank and the Blue Hills Bank Charitable Foundation offer to the community for free. After the show, the children go home and talk to their parents and share the important facts of the show with them about saving money, about wants versus needs. To me, that's the ultimate endorsement uh, when you hear feedback like that. We're the lucky ones who get to see the faces, to see the learning. It's so important that people are educated because when you're educated, you can make better choices, and that's what it's all about. Share it! Here we go! Make it! Save it! Share it! Spend it! Make it! Save it! Share it!